designed with the recreational vehicle market in mind. The Freedom Sequence Intelligent Power Manager's main purpose is to prevent you from tripping your shore power breaker by shedding certain loads based on their predetermined priority. You're going to have some constant uh, draw loads and then you're going to have some, some periodic loads. The sequence will actually drop off some of the non-critical loads like the water heater or, 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 uh, or an air conditioner um, in those situations where you've got the potential of overloading the generator. Um, and so it's going to be kind of a complete managed system prevent you from having to actually think about what your generator is doing. It'll handle your generator usage. We're having problems with the generator overburden. In other words, the generator is a little small. Generator is going to run 100% of the time. We're having problems with the generator shutting down. Uh, we had two options. One was to replace the generator. What we've come up with after talking with Xantrex and yourself um, was using the Freedom Sequence device along with the sine wave inverters to overcome the initial startup of the compressors and to help the generator along. Well, the sequence will know what the, what the, what the amperage capability is of the generator. Uh, that'll be programmed in. As you reach that, that threshold, um, it'll start dropping off loads or adding uh, inverter support based on a predetermined uh, shed order. Um, um, the lower priority loads will drop first uh, and then the higher priority loads will drop last. One of the Freedom Sequence's main attributes is that it works cohesively with inverters and existing generators to create a complete support system. So what we need to do is, 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 is make sure that, that you've got a backup system to where, to where we can drop non-critical loads like a water heater, the second air conditioner. They're putting too much of a load on their normal generator which will decrease the life of that generator. It is not practical to install a larger generator. It cannot be done. Um, it is very practical to install a battery bank and an inverter and sequence or shed some of those loads off to the inverters. Um, seems to be once it's installed uh, in the proper way by a qualified technician, uh, very low maintenance um, with the proper use of the batteries and, and uh, the installation should be no problems with it. To make sure that we've got the real estate for the sequence, we're going to take the shore and the generator cables off of that back wall, move them to the front wall, and that'll give us that real estate we need on, the, on that back wall. And it's going to go in behind the panel. Um, what we'll do is interrupt the power coming from our main circuitry. It will run through the sequence and then back up to our buses um, that will be gauged appropriate to the size of to the voltage we're actually running through the, through the system, which is 50 amps. Our loads that we are going to actually shed using this device will come off of the breaker through either side of the uh, sequence and then back to the breaker again so it's protected. All of this will then be mounted down behind the panel out of the way. And once installed, some inner workings. One of the things that we may have noticed in this installation is that we're running 6 gauge wire on the two hots, but you'll notice we're running a 10 gauge for the ground and the, and the neutral. The the sequence was, was kind of configured in a way to make it easy to take your main feed in, cut it in half, and tie it in. But it's not necessary to run full neutral and ground through the main of the sequence. You'll also notice that on the branch circuits, we only ran the hots. For the same reason, the neutral and ground inputs tie directly to the outputs and have no functionality internally, uh, where the hot wire goes through the relay and the current sense transformers. When you're doing a, an installation in an electrical panel like this, uh, just to, to minimize the connection points and to make it a simpler installation, a cleaner installation, uh, we can just run the hots through the, the, the relays and through the, the current sense transformers and the system will still function the way it's intended to. Another great feature is that the sequence power manager can handle up to 4 AC and 4 DC loads at one time. Uh, a technician tomorrow may not have our schematic, so we're going to go ahead and throw one extra step in. We're going to go ahead and label the actual power manager itself where our loads are coming in, where our loads are coming out, the line in and line out. Good idea in the RV world as a safety precaution. A final thought? Sequence Power Manager is the only power manager on the market that works seamlessly with an inverter charger and an automatic gen start that uses a single control panel that controls all the devices and communicates on the same language, uh, which makes for a really easy, clean, and seamless installation.